Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip My Tech YouTube channel. And in today's video, we'll be traveling to the future. Whoa, 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 dude. Hold up. This is the wrong future. Editor, wrong future. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, that's a lot better. That's right, guys. In today's video, we'll be traveling to the future of VRs. So make sure you guys stay tuned till after the intro. Okay, guys. Enough with the fun and games, let's get down to business. So first up on today's list is the uh, um, kick, um, um, Emerge One Wave from Kickstarter. And this one right here, it's not, it's a, it's a system that goes with VRs and it can be paired with, um, I know for sure it can be paired with the Oculus Quest 2, which is this VR system. Um, I'm not reviewing that one in today's video, but this system, here it is right here, I'll post it right here. It's a um, system, and it can, it's powered by ultrasounds. It's an ultrasound powered tabletop device that lets you feel what you see in VR. So like if you see a person, you can feel it, you can hug somebody, you can feel the grass, the um, car, you can, it lets you like, and it's not actually even, you don't actually even need controls, it's just a, tape, like I said, it's a ultrasound powered tabletop device, like, like this and you have wherever however long your arms can reach you put on your VR system and it's on your eyes it's on your hands and you you just reach out like in front of it that's like a force field um let me see it's a uh, it's a beam for as a beam forms a force field um which lets you interact with virtual um content so like I said you could like actually like touch it but it's only like arms up, so you can't actually like get up and go like, over here, away from the system. You actually have to be right here in front of the system, arms links to the side, and like up. And I'm pretty I'm sure you could go up and like everything around you, like arms link. You can't like actually get up. Um, but I think it's still actually pretty cool that you can actually that actually feel it, and it's actually pretty. It's actually basically VR systems is like an illusion. It's like it makes you think you can feel something that's not actually even there, like. It's actually pretty cool what um, VR Systems does, but too much of it, I'm just a warning, too much VR Systems is not good for you, so I would not recommend using it every single day. Uh, but they are fun, especially this one, this one's like pretty cool. Um, it's actually, when it, um, like I said, it's only at arms rest, so it supports the Metaverse Quest 2, which is basically Oculus um, Quest 2, which is the newer from the Oculus um, brand. And there is, this is not like actually being like widely produced yet. Um, there's actually a waiting list um, for people um, who want it, so make sure that you guys go check it out. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can um, be the first ones to get on that list. Um, so you guys could you go, so that way you guys could go get you guys one um, if you want it. Um, it's actually really cool, and there's not much to say about it, um, but it is a really cool system. Like, it, like it explains itself. Like you can literally feel it. Like that would be so cool. And like you're moving around, and like you, know, if you like have playing a game with guns, you go like actually with a gun, you pretend like you're shooting or whatever. Um, so and not like you have to hold any controller, just like your hand. So that's really cool. Um, and I'm not sure what, like I said, this is a waiting list. I'm not sure how much it costs, but I can assure you, it'll, it'll cost a pretty penny. It's not gonna be that cheap. Um, but I, I guess you're getting your um. You're getting a bang for your buck, so I guess it's worth however much it is. So make sure you guys go get get on that waiting list and check it out. Okay, second up on the list is the Apple VR system. Um, so Apple is rumored to be coming up with a augmented reality slash virtual reality headset or a augmented reality um, glasses. The headset will be um, sleek and it was lightweight, so it's for extreme comfort. Here's a picture of it right here. It actually looks pretty futuristic, if you ask me. Um, like I said, it's not out yet, so basically, it's a futuristic-looking, futuristic, 
VR system that's gonna come out in the future. So it's a whole lot of features. So you guys can't say that my thumbnail was any like fake stuff, cause like I, it's real. It's a futuristic device from the future because obviously it's not out yet, but it will be in the future. So it's from the future. So hopefully I'm keeping up with the details from the video and the title. Um, so basically, this will the headset. There's not too much information online about the glasses because that is a far stretch with the augmented reality glasses. Um, I'm not sure how practical that would be anyway. But there's not a lot much on that on online. But there's a whole bunch of information about the headset, which, which leads me to believe that these headphones will. I mean, not headphones, headset. The VR headset will be coming out um fairly soon. It's rumored to be coming out from anywhere from this year, 2022, to all the way up to 2025. So it's not that long, three years. You'll look for it anytime then. Um, but I'm just glad to see that Apple is branching out and not just doing iPhones and tablets anymore. Um, so well, they also do headphones as well. But now this is a whole different branch. I talk about a whole different branch. As you guys know, um, iPhones have an operating system, iOS, and this, for spe especially for, made for the VR headset, is an iOS operating system, all brand new, made specifically for this. Um, and there's also going to be a app store exclusively for the um, only the VR headset system. Um, it's like all the virtual games you can get, so you won't need to get like like the disc and stuff. So. Hopefully, it's worth it, and I can assure you, this is going to cost, um, well, I'm not sure exactly, because like I said, it's, it's going to come out sometime in the next three years, but, um, it's rumored to cost over $2,000, that's crazy, like, who would buy that, and, like, if you guys thought the phones were crazy expensive, like, $1,000 for, like, an iPhone, so, $2,000 for this, I'm not sure who would buy that, like, that's a lot of money. Um, but I, I, I'm complex about this, like, I think it's worth $2,000, but I'm not sure I, it's practical price for this, like, like, maybe like $500, I just, I think Apple should, like, it's not set in stone, is basically what I'm saying, like, it's rumored to be $2,000, but it's not set in stone, like, $500 would probably get a big, good price, maybe even $1,000, cut that price in half, 50 off, $1,000, like, a, one of the iPhone, like, new iPhones. Um, that would be a reasonable price. But anyway, back to the details of this. So, it will have a... Like I said, it will be sleek and to assure um, comfort. It will have two high-resolution uh, micro OLED displays. Um, and each of these will have 3,000 pixels per inch. Which is crazy. Um, so, it's going to be... It's going to look so clear. Like, it, it's like you're actually there. Like, 3,000 pixels is a lot. And this is just bad quality right here. Pixels. This is what bad quality pixels would look like, but 3,000 pixels is going to look like clear like you're in real life. Um, so next up on the list um, is going to provide obviously immerse um, viewing along with it's going to have dozens of cameras and those cameras are not just useless. These cameras can be used for it tracks your hand gestures and your movements. It tracks your as eye tracking. So wherever you look with your eyes, that's where it moves to look in the game. It shifts with your eyes. So if I look this way, you can turn this way, look that way. That's that's what it is. Uh, it's also going to have three D tracking. So if if you're playing and so like you know how sometimes when you have like your VR system and you crash into something because you can't actually see it. Um, like if you're like like say I'm on this small space. I'm at this table right here. I'm in this chair. I got a lamp over there. My vlog over there. Another chair over there. And there's my sister's bed over here. And say I put on my V my VR system right here. And I was just walking around and I walked into this vlogging stick that I'm recording and I knocked it over. Walked into the lamp, knocked it over, and just walk into the bed. Um basically the three D tracking ensures that you won't have any of that problems anymore because you will be able to like feel it and like in the game. I'm not sure exactly because like I said, it's not out yet. It's futuristic, it's not out. So I can't really explain it that well, but basically just to put it simple is that you won't be able to crash into any of those things like we just mentioned in this scenario. Um, it also will, the cameras are also for, oh, another thing, um, this is not for the cameras, but it's cool, it's voice control, um, that's cool, so 
it's like um I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be Siri maybe. Um next up it has skin detection. Um I'm not sure what that's for, it sounds pretty weird. There's spatial detection, um there's expression detection. Um so those last three sounds pretty intense. Like expression detection, um, spatial detection, and skin detection. I'm not sure what those are for, but they sound like they could do some good stuff. And actuary quality is much, much better um, for your experience while you're using the headset, obviously. And so that's basically all the information that is really about the headset because it's not out yet. Um, the only thing that's out on the list is, like I mentioned before, the Kickstarter Emerge Wave 1. That is out already. It's not so none of these are actually out yet on my list. Um, but the this one should be coming out within the next three years. The Emerge Kickstarter one that I mentioned before this segment, that one is out, but it's not like widely produced where you could just go get one from the store. You have to like go on a waiting list online. Just like you had to do if you wanted to buy a Tesla Cybertruck. Um but yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see this in the next couple of years and it delivers just like it um, says it will. So we can look for that. Okay, next up. Okay, the last and final segment is the um, PlayStation VR 2, which is the second version of the PlayStation VR. Um, so as you guys know, you guys probably, I'm not sure if you guys know the PlayStation VR. Um, cause I didn't know about it until I made this video. Um, but this PlayStation VR 2 is made to pair with the PS5. And here, you guys can see right here, and it has a color scheme just like the PS5. So, um, that white modern look, I love it. Um, so, it's, that's how you know it's made for the PS5, cause it has the same look as it. And with the white texture and the color of it. Um, so, it has... 4K high dynamic um, displays, which delivers four times the um, resolution than the original PS uh, VR PlayStation VR system, and has um, 4K HDR display on um, the two screens. Like it has, it has two. Oh yeah, that's hard to remember. It's two 2000 by 2040 OLED displays. So it's just like the um, Apple VR that I just talked about it has two displays. Um, and so this one is a 2000 by 2040 display. Make sure I wrote that down so I can remember it to tell you guys correctly. Um, and it also, there's a lens adjustment. And like some people, like, I have like a short distance between my eyes, like on my nose, like right here. But some people might be spaced out more, some people might be less. Um, so basically, um, to fix that problem of making it like, say you have like glasses, like, say I'm wearing my glasses, like I'm not wearing my glasses in today's video, um, but say I was like wearing my glasses and I gave it to somebody who's older than me, maybe it was like tighter on them. So basically, you could like adjust that, you know like when you go get your eyes checked and they make sure to to measure your glasses and make sure you have, it's like the right length and they like adjust it wider and like shorter to make sure it matches you. That's basically what it is, there's a dial on it. So you be able to make it shorter or longer depending on how um, the distance between your um, two eyes. Um, and that's just to assure there's more comfort and no one's feeling uncomfortable to make sure it's adjustable for everybody and everybody can play. Um, um, and then there's also a vent that allows airflow up to the um, up to your eyes under the um, under the lenses. And that also is there to prevent um, fog. It reduces the fog. And I know my hated my worst thing that I hate with wearing mask is that when I breathe, there's like fog in my glasses. And so that is going to be fixed with the airflow vents. And that way, it's just not disturbing your play. Like you have to hold your breath and wait for it to go away um, for the fog to like die down. But there's an airflow vents to prevent that. And so that's perfect. And this is not, it's in the future. This is coming out in the future. It's, it's coming out, I believe, this autumn, this fall. It's coming out, I believe. 
So you guys look forward to that. I know the PS5 already came out. And it was supposed to come out last year, 2021. That's when it was first announced it was supposed to come out. Um, but the date was changed to later this year, 2022, in the fall. So you guys can expect to see that later on. You guys who are all who have a PS5, I, I know it's still pretty hard to get one. It's still pretty expensive. Um, but if you do have a PS5, you can buy this. I'm not sure if it's comparable compatible with other um playstation systems it might be um but i know it's made specifically for the ps5 um and it might be used for other like um consoles i'm not sure how compatible it is like say what an xbox if you wanted to do that or if xbox even supports the vr um so if you have a ps5 i suggest you get this one because this one's the most compatible with the ps5 if that's what you're using your um, VR system for, and you're looking for an updated one. Um, so actually, just this one for that specific um, need. And it also has tracking. It tracks your movements and your direction. And basically, it's like the um, eye tracking. Except like if your arm reaching this way, if you're reaching for something this way, it's going to turn that way so you can see what you're reaching for. Or if you move your body this way, the whole camera's going to turn this way so you can see over here. Um, so it's, it's a whole body movement thing, so, um, so I like that feature where you don't have to like, like there are controllers for this one, but you don't, you won't actually have to like move the controller this way to turn that way, you can actually just move your body that way, and that way you're more interactive with it, because it is virtual reality, like you're actually there, so it makes you feel more like you're there if you're actually moving that direction, um, so that was a nice touch to it, um, just as with the Apple VR system. So I like that's a, that's what they're doing now, I guess, with the new futuristic VR systems. Um, and there's also where you can feel vibrations, you can feel pulses, you can feel the rush of uh, rush of objects going past you, like if a car driving past, or if something's thrown at your head, you can feel that rush past you. Or you can feel like the thrust of your vehicle, like if you step on the gas and you zoom, like, or if you hit the brakes and you just fly up. You can, that's that's what it's that's awesome. Like I said. It's a nice touch, like you're actually there, because that's what that's what virtual reality is for. It's reality, but it's virtual. So the more it's integrated, like when you move your body, say you like you move your body quick, the camera turns that way. That was the gesture movement, and then you can feel the wind play past you, and that's that. Um, so it's like you're actually there, even though you're not there. And this is basically a brain trick because it's not like you're not actually there. Jackie feeling you that so that's why I, re I don't recommend you use these every day because every day if you use this every day it can mess with your head and give you headaches and stuff there are um side effects to using this too much but besides that it, they are fun um so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below um in the comment section what was you guys' favorite the emerge um kickstarter wave one the apple vr or the um ps um uh, five um vr two um, which futuristic one can you, what, do you look forward to seeing the most? Mine's is probably the Apple VR, even though the price is expensive. It does sound like a very good VR system. Um, so you guys comment down below your favorite. Comment down your favorite part of the videos. And make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you the um, subscribe button still red, make it gray. And I'll see you guys in next next week's video. Peace.